What's up with that? What's up with YouTube? I'm Deron the Mastodon and welcome to another episode of Respect the Six. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to check out the other episodes of Respect the Six. If you rock with the content and you want to see some more, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. It's been a long time, but shout out to the V6 Mafia, man. We still in the building. Man, y'all see the title, man. It's over for Destiny. She got fucked up yesterday. Today is February 16th. I got into an accident on February 15th, the morning of February 15th um leaving work it was real fucking snowy like the roads were really fucking bad you know what i'm saying and i was headed to the gas station i'm sitting there waiting for traffic to clear or let me through so i can go to the gas station and the cars didn't pull up all the way there's three lanes two of the lanes that were closest to me the cars stopped and then pull up all the way to allow me to go. So I took that as the initiative to go. So I started to go. I try to go as fast as I can, but you know, real wheel drive, snow, you ain't really going nowhere because you ain't got traction. I go and then something tells me, look to your right. I look to my right and I just see this fucking Chevy pickup coming my way and I'm like, fuck. And I just grabbed the steering wheel and just braced myself for impact. I didn't get hurt. That's the good thing. I'm all good. Nothing wrong with me. I'm perfectly fine. The person that hit me, perfectly fine as well. She was a little hysterical, understandably, but um, like she damn near had a panic attack because she thought like she really fucked me up because the impact was fucking loud as shit. Like everybody seen that shit. Everybody at the gas station could have seen the shit. Everybody on the road saw the shit. It was, yeah, it was in uh, yeah, it wasn't. A, it wasn't a great start to my morning. Let's put it like that. The craziest thing about that accident that morning is probably. Right around the time we were waiting for the police, it was probably like 20 or 25 minutes after our initial accident. We got we all got out the road and shit. The car was able to start up and keep going. Um, there was another accident right by that fucking entrance. Somebody else got hit trying to make a turn into the fucking gas station. But their shit was worse because their car wouldn't cut back on. Their shit was in the fucking road. They had to get the tow truck. They had like There was like two cops. A fucking fire truck came and then, you know what I'm saying, a tow truck for them. But back to my story. So when the cop came and started talking to us about what happened and whatnot, I find out that technically I'm at fault for this. Of course, I didn't think she was at fault. Um, Michigan's a no fault state, but somebody had to be at fault. And I'll take responsibility for that because even though they were allowing me to go and make that turn into the gas station, I technically didn't have the right of way because traffic wasn't completely clear. That's why I got hit. Luckily for me that morning, the police um, system, you know, whatever, was down. So they couldn't issue me a ticket. So, you know what I'm saying? No points on my license for that. Lady that hit me, she was driving in a 03 Chevy, a little pickup truck. Looked a little bit run down. It was, I guess, her boyfriend's work truck. So I guess it wasn't a big deal that um, it got fucked up because she wasn't trying to get any money out of me to fix that car. So even though, you know, Destiny is probably at a fucking loss. I mean, I'm not hurt. I don't have a ticket. And I don't have to pay to fix her ride. So, I mean, I can't even complain for real. I didn't want to get my car towed and pay for that bullshit. So, because my car could still drive and whatnot, I drove this bitch fucked up. Airbags out. This is why I think this is 100% total loss. Because I don't think they're going to want to take the time to repair all this shit. But um, at least I know my shit worked. But, yeah, I drove home like that the entire way. And when y'all see the outside of the car, well, y'all see the, you know, thumbnail, but when y'all see the closer details of the accident, you're gonna be like, damn, like, I felt kind of foolish try driving this bitch, like, it's a little embarrassing, cause how fucked up the car is, but I got tinted windows, so y'all can see me and shit, but not only is the damage on the outside horrible, but I know my suspension and my alignment are fucked up, because I had to cock the wheel a little bit to the left just to get the car to drive straight, I'm like, damn, that wasn't happening before. So I'm like, yeah, this car is really, really fucked up. But let me go ahead and show y'all the outside damage. It's like a bittersweet thing with this because... Of course, I love this fucking car, like seven years strong. You couldn't tell me shit about my V6. I love this motherfucking Pentastar. This car was fucking reliable as hell. I'm going to fucking miss this car a lot. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like this happened because it was time for me to, to move on. You know, I was already looking at, I'm going to keep it real with you. I was already looking at 
what the next vehicle for the channel was going to be, the next build. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, this accident kind of accelerated that. I wasn't planning on, you know, having a car go out like this. I wanted to fix her up a little bit, put her on, you know, Facebook market and try to sell her for like five, six bands because I know that's what this bitch is worth, at least. Five, six bands. I mean, I looked up the Kelly Blue Book price and, yeah, it's, it's around like five and a half, based on the mileage that I have, around five and a half K to about eight K if you sell it privately. Um, I know they're going to try to lowball me. So I'm only really expecting them, you know, cut me a check for at least five bands. If it's lower than that, I'm going to be a little fucking pissed. It is what it is. I'm not tripping. I'm good. You know, cars are replaceable. My life ain't. So it sucks that the series has to come to an end in this way. But at the same time, it's exciting to know what's coming next. But I really don't know what the next whip will be. But I do got my eyes on a couple, you know, saying a couple vehicles that I like. But just stay tuned until I drop the video updating everybody on the new whip for the channel. But I guess it's going to be the last one. But y'all already know what to do, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. But until then, y'all, I got one question for you. Are you in the mafia? Am I in the what?